All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Palms the Mayo, and we're back with another edition of Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting. This will be episode 577. I'm going to be shiny hunting for another Tortuga. So, when I finally find the second shiny Tortuga, I'll actually be evolving into Caracosa, and the nickname will be based off of the shiny of the Pokemon. So, shiny Caracosa looks like a sapphire blue color to me. Uh, so, I decided with the simple name Sapphire Costa. So, that's what I'll be calling the next shiny Tortuga whenever I find it. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, the topic for this episode is, there is no topic, so if you'd like to recommend me one, as long as your name and the topic aren't too sexual or too inappropriate, then yeah, uh, feel free to if you want. Um, of course, I have a whole list of topics I've used before and ones I'll be using in the future Shine Hunting episodes, uh, but yeah, even if you don't recommend one, um, yeah, I will eventually have more, just going to be a little while until I make some new ones, um, but yeah, until then, uh, I'll just talk about whatever, pretty much, uh, at the very least, you know, hunt, even if I'm hunting silently. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, so what happened to me yesterday, well actually, technically, I guess today as well, because I only got a few hours of sleep. I pretty much wanted to pull an all-nighter yesterday, because yesterday's uh, stream had told you all that I was going to try to hack my Wii. So, yep, I was able to borrow my sister's boyfriend's Wii remote, and it works perfectly. It's awesome. Um, so anyways, I had that all set up. Uh, I have the normal Wii with all the games and everything on it that I bought on there like a while ago, like years ago. Um, I have an SD card, just downloaded all the games on the SD card, and then for the Wii system memory, you want to keep that free so that the uh, memory and the save data can be saved from there. Yeah, I pretty much uh, have all that loaded, and but anyways, so sadly I'm going to need more than one 2 gigabyte SD card because it seems like not every single one will work. I have all the right system and files and all that, but it seems like just some of them, like the two that I have, um, they just are freezing when it's trying to go to the installation for the homebrew launcher for the letter bomb, that's what they call it in the video. Um, yeah, I was able to get to the whole installation, but it says like press 1 to continue and then it would freeze. So it's literally all I'm waiting for is just to get more SD cards. Um, but it's, it's whatever, I guess. So it's too bad that it didn't work out. Um, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um, so besides after all of that, um, so I decided, I figured that I'd just stay up as long as I can. I wasn't able to stay up till 3 o'clock. I actually got pretty tired at like uh, early 2 o'clock. Um, but anyways, I played a lot of different games. Uh, games that I know I've not fully actually tried before. Like Legend of Zelda, the first one. Um, and then Legend of Zelda 2, um, Adventure of Link. And then... Yeah, both of those were like so, uh, well the first one I couldn't figure out where to go on my own so I just like moved on to the second one. And then the second one was just straight up way too hard. Eventually I'll do redo these games and stuff and any other games you want me to try to like me play on stream because then I don't mind like recording and stuff and then even just, even if I might get angry you know, I'm pretty much a, a master of my anger so it won't get that bad but I'll like do my best to just beat it no matter how hard it is. Um, and then anyway, and then I tried out, um, Punch-Out. I only got up to the Chinese champions, so I only beat the first two. I only beat the, um, what was the, I forget what the first one was, but the second was, one was the Russian military, uh, boxing teacher. What was the first one, though? The first one, oh yeah, it was Joe, Glass Jog Joe. Um, but yeah, I can't just seem to beat that, uh, champion of that cup, the Chinese guy, or I think Japan, actually, not Chinese guy, said he was from Tokyo and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, I couldn't get past him, so I was like, you know what, that just seems like way too hard. So then I moved on to the final game that I was able to play yesterday. I have plenty of others, like I said, that I still want to try, uh, while I'm still borrowing my sister's boyfriend's Wii remote. Um... So I'll be doing that just, and then other games that I know I love, and then I'm going to try to go ahead and beat them to see if I actually do, would want to actually like, you know, play them again. So then I'll actually make topics on them and add them to the combination of love. So that's going to take a while to beat those games though, but 
Um, but anyways, yeah, the, the last one that I left off on was uh, the first Metroid. So yeah, I got pretty far, and I'm planning on doing a lot more for that, because I know I can get pretty far with that game. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I did. I think those are the only games that I was just straight up playing yesterday, last night, so yeah. I think that's it for that. But anyways, um, yeah. So I have like the, all the GameCube games, you know that stuff. Uh, well, I don't think you've ever seen them on camera or anything, but yeah. I actually need a, a special GameCube memory card. It's like, it looks like an action replay that you would put into DS, the cheating device, but except it's like a memory card for the, you know, the GameCube. You plug it on the top of the Wii, and that's how you save the data from all the GameCube games. Because you can't save the data on your SD card, sadly, I tried. But it wouldn't let me do that. So eventually i got to save up one of those. Because um, I have a whole bunch of GameCube games I definitely want to actually, for real, give a good try to beat, you know. And just eventually just play all these things on stream eventually. Because I was really hoping to get that whole thing set up to where... Because I don't, there's no guarantee I was able to record the inside of the Wii, but I just wanted to get it hacked at the very least to get like a bunch of like games and stuff. But obviously, you know, if I was able to do the thing that I'm trying to do with my DS, to have the uh, inside of the screen recording and showing on my computer so I can record my computer screen, that would have been awesome. But I don't even know if that was able to happen with the Wii. But I was assuming that it could, but yeah, it just it didn't work out sadly still, so... I don't know, it just seems like hacking uh, for me, I'm doing all the steps correctly, it's just, it's just my, uh, it's not going towards my favor, sadly, but it's whatever, I was eventually just going to have, like, all my recording stuff via, well, I guess I should just not say via, because maybe some people not, might not know what that means, I mean, like, pretty much I'm going to have all my recording stuff whenever I do get a tripod, just as that, just my tripod being super focused on what I'm doing, and then, yeah, and then obviously I'll be able to use both my hands so I can do a lot more stuff, play a lot more games, and you actually see me play the game, not just see me playing on the console, and then you not seeing the game play, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know when that's going to happen, obviously, you know, money's an issue for me, so it's whenever it happens, whenever it happens, but it'll be good, it'll be a huge upgrade, I was just hoping in the meantime to get those simple free ways to, you know, have better viewing for my content, so you can actually see the gameplay and all that, even if it was, like, resorted to hacking, so, yeah. But I think that's about it, what I did, um, yeah. Oh, I do plan on making spaghetti squash later, because yesterday, um, my mom came home from the grocery store and got two, they're actually called spaghetti squashes, so that's what you like turn them into because it's like it looks like the inside of a pumpkin pretty much for the inside of it so um i'm going to definitely make one of those today and i'm going to do the same like i did with the asparagus uh, for the video for youtube i'll show you the end result of my cooking of it because i cooked it before um but i'm going to show you and eventually i will make this stuff on stream as well just so you can see me actually making it but the best you know obviously i can do for now is at least show you the results so yeah it's going to be pretty great pretty great Pretty excited for that. Because not only the spaghetti squash, but the seeds inside it, you can have a cooking on the, the tray on the side as well. So those are really good. Those are like really sweet tasting seeds. Like they're honey tasting. It's really good. Really tasty. And obviously the spaghetti squash itself is amazing. So yeah, pretty excited for that. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why it's so dark outside, well, it's actually been raining for hours, and it's probably going to rain the whole day, most likely, but, um, yeah, like I said, even if it rains and all that stuff, I'm still going to make sure to go outside once a day, so I'll be enjoying some rain later, most likely. 
So yeah. All right, I'll be checking this final one and let's see if it's shiny or not. But if not, I'll go ahead and end off this episode. We'll see. Nope, all right, I'm going to end off episode 577.